Hello there! Right, so this is the chit chat video. Um, it's basically explaining why I haven't posted for a couple of weeks. Um, it's because me and Alex have been on holiday. We went to Tenerife. Um, and I wanted to kind of like explain, you know, what we did uh, because it was an absolutely amazing holiday. It was our first holiday away together. Um, and it was just brilliant. I mean, everything we, we did was so much fun. And I got absolutely spoiled. Um, First things first, I'll talk about the hotel. Um, it was part of the Hotel Catalonia chain and it was um, called Punta del Rey. It was about five minutes from the beach um, and it was amazing. We went all inclusive and so we, we drank so much, ate so much. Um, it was just absolutely amazing. You could see the sea off the balcony, you could smell the sea. It was, oh, it was so much fun just being in the hotel. We did more stuff, obviously, but um, because there was so much going on, they, they had like entertainment every night. Uh, downstairs, they had like a little mini club, and we had a bit of a dance. Um, it was just, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, it's in the quiet, the quieter part of Tenerife. It's in the north rather than. Um, Las Americas and Las Cristianas are kind of like down in the south and there they kind of like party, it. that's the party area. Um, it was quite quiet but still, there was still quite a lot going on. Um, also, during the week we went to two parks, we went to a water park which I was really really nervous about because um, I'm not the best swimmer and I don't really like going on rides, like I don't really like rides at the mop, um, let alone you know, like at a water park. But it was absolutely amazing. There were 14 rides and I went on 13 out of the 14. The one I didn't go on, Alex did and I watched him go on it and it was terrifying. I got to fourth in line, watched a couple of guys go down and then chickened out. It was a 28 metre vertical drop through a tunnel with like sharks and everything above you. It looked terrifying. I thought, right, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it but I literally just couldn't do it, couldn't get the guts to do it. Um, but Alex did, and he was said he, he really wished he'd gone on like twice, rather than only once. Um, but the most hilarious part at the whole um, water park was the wave pool, because the waves were quite big, I said they were like 10 metres. Um, sorry, not 10 metres, like 10 foot. Um, and uh, I thought I'd counted properly, so I turned around to talk to Alex, and this wave just completely took me out. I went under the water, I was coughing and spluttering, everyone around me was absolutely pissing themselves laughing. It was so... but I found it funny as well, which was good. Um, but we went on absolutely every ride, and it was just amazing. The second park we went to um, was Loro Park, and Loro is Spanish for parrot. Um, and they had loads of different like animal shows. They had the killer whales, which was amazing. We got absolutely soaked. The trainers got um, all the killer whales to like splash the audience. There were loads of people with little ponchos, and we thought, no, it's really hot, so it doesn't matter if we get splashed. Um, then there was the dolphin show, which they were like flipping the um, the trainers in the air and everything. It was wicked, really, really good. Um, then there's the actual Loro show, which was the parrot show, and they are massive. I always thought they were quite small, like about that big, but these were like that big with like big massive wingspan. Um, and uh, then it was the the sea lions, which were hilarious. They were absolutely hilarious. It was so, so funny. They were like nodding at the trainers and they were like jumping through hoops and splashing everyone. It was like a proper good comedy show. It was so, so funny. Um, but there were loads of other animals in the park as well. They had like white tigers and gorillas. Um, they had sloths and marmosets and capybaras and anteaters and oh, there was just so much. And they had the the little penguin bit. You were on like a little track and you go around and look at the uh, look all the penguins. And they were so funny. I love seeing penguins. And um, they had another one of my favourite animals, which are jellyfish. I absolutely love jellyfish. They are so, so amazing, so pretty to look at. And then they had them through the stages. They had, like, the little tiny baby ones that were about that big. And then they had, like, bigger ones, like this big, but with different, like, lights going through them. So you could see, like, all the different parts of their body. It was absolutely amazing. So we went to the two parks. Um, I wish we'd had longer, I really do. We went for the whole day, but the water park was absolutely amazing. We had just enough time um, in Loro Park as well um, to see all the shows and all the animals as well, um, and stop for a bit of lunch as well. Um, but it was so, so good, and the island 
is so beautiful. It's volcanic beaches. They have two artificial beaches where they imported the sand from um, the Sahara Desert. Um, but we didn't really care about doing that because we could just sit by the pool and like lounge and sunbathe and stuff. But we went down to one of the volcanic beaches which was um, about five minutes down the road. Um, and on our way down um, we saw two kittens. Because in Tenerife you have so many stray cats that we saw at least 20, 25 cats. Um, but there were these two kittens and they were so small. I, I say they were about like five, six weeks old. They were with three adult cats. And so one night at lunch, we uh, we lined my handbag with um, napkins and basically made um, little parcels of chicken, put them in my handbag, and then went down and fed the cats. We didn't do it every night because we thought if they get dependent on us, they won't be able to find their own food. But it felt really good knowing that we'd like fed fed the cats and we'd help the uh, the little kitten survive. Um, it was Alex's idea actually, which which I thought was really, really cute. Um, but I didn't want to go over to the cats because I mean my cats, they're they're really friendly, you know, anyone they'll let anyone stroke them, but that's because we're nice to them. I'm guessing that people in Tenerife aren't necessarily that nice to the cats. I mean they had they leave food out and stuff, but they're really, really skittish and so we didn't stroke them in case, you know, they scratched us or something. Didn't want to give anything to our babies. Um, but they were everywhere and there was me wandering around going, oh babies, babies, because they were really, really cute, but really skinny. When we came home yesterday, I looked at our babies, sorry, our cats, um, and they are so big, so fat in comparison. Um, but it was an absolutely amazing time. Um, we walked all along the, um, the shoreline, all along the pier, um, and there were little cafes and little patisseries. Um, all along, I'd say hundreds and hundreds of them, and then they had loads of shops, um, like, round the other side. But it's so cheap. Everything is so cheap. I mean, we're all inclusive, so we didn't have to pay for drinks, so we didn't, you know, see how expensive they were. Um, but we had two, um, like, slush puppies, and it came to, like, four euros, I think, which is so cheap. And they were really, really nice as well. Alex had a coffee one, and I had a tropical, like, tropical fruit one. Um, we went into a couple of clothes shops as well, and um, I bought, I'm really into the um, felt wide brim hats, and I bought a fawn one, and I was expecting it to be like 25 euros, because my one uh, um, from New Look um, in England is uh, was 25 euros, and it was 7.95, uh, sorry, 25 pounds, <laughs> not euros, I'm still, still getting used to the whole pounds and euros and everything. Um, but yeah, it was seven ninety five, and it was an absolute steal. So I had to buy one. Um, but everything is so cheap. I got a big um, eyeshadow palette. I think it's uh, Makeup Forever, and it was like seventeen ninety. I mean, that's nothing, absolutely nothing. And it's got it's got like cool tones at the bottom, uh, at the bottom, and then warm tones at the top. And I'll use both. Um, and then it's got bronzers and blushes as well. It's, I couldn't get over how cheap it was, and then she even popped in um, a cleanser for me and a little mini aftershave for Alex. Everyone was so friendly. I mean, we don't know much Spanish. All we know how to say is like, you know, hello, goodbye, please, thank you, how are you, good day. Um, I think that's about it. You know, like odd little words like um poquito because that's small. I was saying small gin, so they weren't giving me too much. Um, but it was, everyone was just so friendly. It was so different to England. I always find um, that when you go into shops, no, people aren't necessarily that friendly, but everybody was so, so nice in Tenerife. Everyone was just so, so friendly. And so even if you couldn't speak English, they were still trying, which was, I was like, we were trying to speak their language and they were trying to speak ours. Um, but yeah, so that, that's it. That's basically, I, I, I've i been speaking really fast. I thought this was going to last for a lot longer, but obviously not. Um, I was just so happy to be there. And I've caught the sun. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, it's just an excuse to wear a lot more bronzer. Um, but yeah, I just, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And I'm so thankful to Alex for taking me because it was our first holiday away together. And it was just so, so nice. And uh, next holiday, we definitely need to go to a water park. Definitely. <laughs> Right, so uh, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. That'd be great. Um, so yeah, see you next video. Thank you.